You would want to find this double integral using, uh, by converting to a polar coordinate system. Notice that y ranges from 0 to the square root of 9x minus x squared. x ranges from 0 to 9. This is the graph of the function y equal to the square root of 9x minus x squared. This is the line y equal to 0. So region R is inside of quadrant 1, in the first quadrant. So region R will be in the first quadrant. Once again, the relationship between the rectangular system and the polar coordinate system is r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. x is equal to r co times cosine of theta. y is equal to r times sine of theta. This is the double integral in the rectangular system. And this is the corresponding double integral in the polar coordinate system. Here we have y equal to the square root of 9x minus x squared. We want to rewrite this equation. We want to find the corresponding equation in the polar coordinate system. Square both sides we get y squared is equal to 9x minus x squared. Add x squared to both sides, we get x squared plus y squared is equal to 9x. x squared plus y squared is r squared. x is r cosine of theta. Divide both sides by r, we have r equal to 9 times cosine of theta. So this is region r here, and it's in the first quadrant. And so theta in the first quadrant ranges from 0 to pi over 2. The radius will go from 0 up to the graph, which is r equal to 9 times cosine of theta. So r ranges from 0 to 9 cosine of theta. Theta ranges from 0 to pi over 2 since we have region R just inside of the first quadrant. And this is the graph R equal to 9 cosine of theta. And so R ranges from 0 to 9 cosine of theta. X is R cosine of theta. Y is R sine of theta. So we have r to the third times cosine of theta times sine of theta. And then rearranging the integrals, we have this. And now let's find the integral, this integral right here. The antiderivative will be r to the fourth dividing by 4, and then evaluate from 0 to 9 cosine of theta. Then we have uh, 9 to the 4th times cosine to the 4th, and dividing by 4. And then when r is 0, we just have 0. So this integral is 9 to the 4th dividing by 4. 
times cosine of theta to the fourth. And so the double integral, we now have uh, 9 to the fourth cosine to the fourth of theta over 4, and then times cosine of theta times sine of theta. And now we move 9 to the fourth over 4, move it to the front. This is cosine to the fourth times cosine, so we have cosine to the fifth. Let u be cosine of theta, du d theta will be negative sine of theta. So we have negative du is sine of theta d theta. And so this integral becomes u to the fifth for cosine of to the fifth, and then sine of theta d theta is negative du. Antiderivative of u to the fifth would be u to the sixth dividing by six, and then we have negative nine to the fourth over four. But u is cosine of theta, so we have cosine of theta to the 6, and evaluate from 0 to pi over 2. When theta is equal to pi over 2, cosine of pi over 2 is 0, and so we have 0. Minus when theta is 0, we have cosine of 0, which is 1. And so we get negative 9 to the 4th over 24, which simplifies to 2,187 over 8. And this is the answer.